Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at a new plugin from FX Factory called Markup. Now, this plugin is useful for creating any types of presentations, video tutorials, any kind of teaching materials that you're creating, this plugin will be useful for. Now, I've got a short section of a tutorial that we're looking at here, and we're basically going to look at how we can use the Markup plugin to highlight different areas of what we're looking at on screen. So we're just going to come up to our titles and generators up here at the top left and we are looking for the markup plugin so we'll come a little way down here now one thing that's worth noting is that with all the fx factory plugins they're always free to try so you can try a version out see if it's what you want before you purchase it so we're in the markup plugin and we're going to have a look at this focus area just drag that down to the timeline so essentially what this is going to do is it's going to highlight an area of the screen and blur out the rest of it. Now the controls in markup and in particular for this focus area are super easy to use. So we're going to just move to a point in our timeline where we can see what we're going to highlight, which is this box in the background. I'm going to stretch this out and stretch it out to the top here. And you can see we can move it around really nice and easily. And then also if we want to reset the center to make sure it's dead center, we can reset that in the inspector across the right. If you don't see your inspector, just go to Window, Show in Workspace, and make sure the inspector is checked. And then also we can do some other things here as well. So we can change the stroke color. So we'll change this to a nice magenta. We can also change the stroke width as well. So we can increase that width. And you can see what's happening here is it's blurring out the background and just highlighting in on this area in the center. And we can modify the blur as well so we can have things more in focus we can have things more blurred out and we can even go past this value here by dragging across the numbers and then we have shading as well so we can completely shade out that background we're going to leave a little bit of it there and we'll bring this blur back so essentially we're going to get a little animation at the beginning I'm just going to find out where the beginning of my window pops up here so you can see now when I play that through it's going to blur out everything except that area which I've highlighted. We'll bring this forward and then, and then it's going to fade out around about here. So you can see at the beginning we fade into that area. We're talking in particular about this window here in InDesign and then if we come to the end then we are going to get that fade back and then the highlight will disappear. So super easy to use, and what I've been enjoying using the focus area with, we just bring this forward a bit, is this frame zoom. So I'm going to drag my frame zoom down to the timeline here. Actually, just to make this a little bit easier to use, I'm going to bring my frame zoom and start it just where I can see the area that I want to zoom in on, So because we can't see that at the beginning. So here you can see I can move this around. I can come to the corners here and change the scale of it. Now it's going to change in proportion to the video here. So we can see where we're going to zoom in on. And now we'll bring this back to the beginning. So now what's going to happen is this window is going to pop up and we're going to zoom in on that. So super easy to set up. We can stretch this out to the end so that we have that nice animation out. And you can see it's super easy to add to the timeline, super easy to modify those settings. And it's going to add that little bit of extra professionalism to your presentations. Now if I come back here, you can see here I'm going to the new document window in the InDesign menus. I'm actually going to add a freeze frame here, which is something I sometimes do. And we'll just shorten that up, just so that we can see where we're hanging on a little bit longer. So you can see we've got a nice hold there with that freeze frame, and we can use the frame zoom. I'm not going to add a focus area around this short section. And then we can move this even when we're zoomed in up to the area that we want to highlight. So I'm just going to pull this across to that new document option. And you can see now, get that nice zoom in. It makes it easier to see those things when you've got those longer menus. And we can even increase this hold a little bit. So that still seemed a little quick. Nice. And then we're zooming in on the new document window. So again, some super useful tools and within this as well. We've also got things like highlight lines and privacy lines, the commands in here as well. So we can drag this onto our frame zoom on top here and we might add in the shortcut for this too. So you can see shortcut for new document is command and N. So we've got our 
command and shift and control and option it's up there already so we'll just do command and n and I'm gonna move this up here we'll come to the titles options I'm gonna change my fill color we we'll use that same magenta and I'm gonna make that almost 100% and then we'll just increase this width just a little bit okay so we get a nice little frame zoom new document command and N and then we move into the new document window setting up our document here so again some really super cool tools here in markup and um, we have some arrows as well so we can add those to nice little draw on arrows you can see we've got some options for easily modifying the angle so we might be pointing towards this area here we can curve our line a little bit so we'll just move this a little bit and we've got some options for the line here too zoom in arrow pops on and then animates off so again some super useful tools in this new markup plugin i definitely recommend checking it out if you have any questions about this or anything else in final cut pro then please do leave a comment below otherwise i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial